It's a big day for Port Yungle Hospital. We've got a visit from uh, Minister Simon Harris and he's announced funding for a new 50 bed unit which will be a major advance for Port Yungle Hospital. Our last ministerial visit I think was in 2010-2011 so this is a big deal. So this is a follow-on from our meeting that we held in September and it was down to the patch that I negotiated I suppose as an independent councillor with Fine Gael. So we asked that we would have a senior meeting with the Minister of Health uh, involving our senior clinical team. That delegation visited in September. They were following up on a project they've been working on since 2012. Planning was in place for this 50 bed unit since September 2016. Um, so we were following up and I suppose because of our pact and because of all the people who voted for me and voted and we were successful at the election, we were able to negotiate this. So it's down to every single person who voted that we were able to negotiate a senior level meeting to accelerate the decision here. So we have now advertised the tender for the enabling works. That's due back on the 18th of November. We expect to be in a position in and around the end of the year to appoint a contractor for those enabling works and that somebody would be on site at the start of 2020. I'm told that there's roughly six to nine months uh, of work in the enabling works and what my colleagues have asked me is to make sure that during that time we're ready to go ahead with the substantive works. So I expect the new here in Port Junkie to open uh, in 2022. It's going to be attached to the uh, theatre block which is uh, just over here so it'll be on a greenfield site just behind this theatre block here and it'll be uh, clearly attached to the hospital. This will be a major advance for the patients in Port Yungla Hospital where instead of in, being in uh, multi-bed, four or six bed units, they will have uh, single ensuite rooms. The quality of these are right up with the best modern uh, patient uh, accommodation that is available anywhere. This is a great hospital uh, with really excellent staff and, and, and quite an incredible community spirit actually. I've been to an awful lot of hospitals. When you walk around this hospital, you really are struck by the pride the staff, the patients and the community have in the hospital. However, it's absolutely clear for anybody to see that uh, the current infrastructure uh, is not fit for purpose. Well, a big thing from the medical and clinical point of view is infection control. Clearly, if uh, patients are sharing toilet facilities, infection is a, a real problem. It will also be uh, important for uh, patients from the point of view of privacy and peace and quiet to aid recovery from serious illness or surgery. They also have the question of patient-doctor confidentiality and receiving information privately, and also patient dignity, and uh, especially at end of life, which is so important for patients and their families. The key point is that we cannot and will not tolerate any further delays in terms of the delivery of this really urgent 50 bedded replacement block along with um, lift replacement and, and fire safety works. And this is a project that should have been delivered many decades ago quite frankly. It will now be delivered and what I want to do now is make sure uh, that there are no further delays. We're going to have a 50 bed unit in 2022 investment in our hospital that serves over 400,000 people, covers five counties. If you were in Athlone and if you were somewhere in Westmeath, more than likely you were born in this hospital. This is a 24-7, 365 day a year hospital. It is a hospital for you and we now have investment to make sure that we have a better quality of care for the patients that come here. So thank